Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to take a Word document, um, just a previously created document that we have on the desktop here, and we're going to change it into a PDF form that we can then take into Pro and use as a wizard. Um, this is something that I use a lot for just existing documents that were already created even before I started. Um, so here is, this is in Microsoft Word. It's a document um, for our final billing. The easiest way to get this into a PDF form, since it's in Microsoft Word right now, is to go ahead and go up to your file print option. Go down here to print. And when this print window pops up, there's a tab down at the bottom here that says PDF. Um, when you click on this, you can save as a PDF. So we'll go ahead and save this. Keep it the same name. We'll save it on the desktop here. And over here, you'll see it created the same document, but in PDF form. Um, that just means that when I click on this new one here, close the old one out, I've got the same form, but right now um, they can't type anything in it. Um, this is a document that now doesn't have any altering available to it. So what I want to do now is I have these blanks right here, you know, blanks up here, and then I've got this table down here where it would be ideal to send this form to people and allow them to fill in those fields on their own, and then they can go ahead and save it and shoot it back in an email just to keep everything electronic. Um, if you go up here to the Forms tab, we're now in Acrobat Pro. It just opens it up in Pro because that's our PDF program that we're using. We're going to go ahead and start what's called Form Wizard. Form Wizard just walks you through basically making all of these blanks into a um, usable format, something that we can fill in. So we're going to start with a PDF document. Hit Next, we're going to use the current document, or you could go ahead and just import from the file system. We could just browse and open it off of the desktop. Here it is on the desktop. We could do that way too. We'll just go ahead and open it that, that way. Okay, and here we go. Um, it, the form wizard has gone through now and made the fields into an interactive field. So what we could do now is click on these. This is where our school year blank is. Um, it's done everything all the way down through the table. Um, I believe there's some more fields down below that it's filled in even. Um, but you will see that sometimes it'll think something's a blank that's not a blank that we want to be a field that we fill in. Like here, this age group, um, that's just a heading. We don't really need a blank field there to be filled in. We want to get rid of this cell here because this is not supposed to be something that we're going to fill in. So we've got it highlighted. All you need to do at that point is just go ahead and hit your delete key and that it'll take that field out of there. All right. After we've got this um, in a format where we think our cells are, they all look correct here we'll all, where all these little black boxes are, that's places that we'll be able to type in. Um, we can go up to the preview field. This is, or the preview button, this is where you are going to see what it'll look like when somebody has it ready to fill in. Okay. Now, if we type 2010, 2011, um, we can go ahead and type in our school district. Our service provider, etc. These are all usable fields, and I'm just accessing these by hitting the tab button. Um, but let's say we want um, maybe down here in this service provider field, um, we don't want them to be able to type anything in here. We want them to have their signature placed right here. Um, we can go ahead and go back to our edit layout, which is where we do all of our editing on those fields. And if we double click on this um, field down here, it's going to pull up our, our properties for it. 
and we can go ahead and we'll just kind of breeze through these tabs here um, this just tells you what the name of the cell is and you can make it a read only or you can make it a required field where they have to fill that in otherwise they're not able to submit it back correctly um, we could make the appearance if we could give it a border we could make a box around it we could fill it in with a you know a gray color change the font um, we could make it so that it's multi-line so if you're typing and you run out of space it go ahead it goes ahead and goes down to that next line um, or we could make it a scrolling text where it would just keep typing and it would just make the text smaller so that it can fit in the box you could format it here you could change it into a percentage um, time I mean just like you can in Excel you can change that cell so that it would only accept things in number format or percentage format or date we want to make this into a signature field so we go ahead and control right click will bring up the different um, properties um, the field name and and you can add a new type of field we want to make this into a digital signature um, so we'll go ahead and select that Got it. and we're just going to create a text box here that will fit in this space so let's just go ahead let's get rid of this one here and we're going to drag this box up drag drop and we'll just stretch it so that it fits in here okay and we'll resize a little bit there we go so now when you go into your preview field um, and you tab down here you tab to this service provider we're not able to type in I'm trying to type text right now and it nothing fills in um, that just means that they're either going to have to upload a digital signature um, basically click to sign or they're gonna have to print it off and sign it so that you have an original signature in there um, but if we hit tab we do go to the next box there back in the edit layout um, it's also important sometimes when you use this edit or this um, form wizard these fields when you tab through them sometimes they won't go in the correct order that you would like them to when you're tabbing so if I'm here sometimes it doesn't always just skip across the screen here like it like we want it to maybe it would go from this box here and then you'd hit tab and it would go down and we want it to go across instead um, and that's easy to fix you just go back here into edit layout and you notice how all of these different fields have names to them that is because over here on the left side of our screen there um, those named fields are in the order of how we tab so if we wanted to switch that order we would simply just select the one that we want to move and we'll just drag it we'll just drag that up so now the state of birth row 5 um, let's say we're on name row here and we tab let's go to our preview screen and we tab down it skipped you notice that you see that it skipped from here it didn't go to this cell here we'll go back and we tab and we tab here now the next cell should be here oh, I need to go down the next row here we go next tab should be here we tab it skipped all the way over here that's just because I moved those around made them in a different order okay so basically um, that is how to use the form wizard to just recreate a form out of an existing document that you have um, this is really easy to use sometimes you'll run into the instance where um, when you bring it over into Adobe to do the editing it doesn't like the text um, it doesn't really seem to like Times New Roman so that basically finishes up the bringing the document into the PDF and um, changing that in Acrobat Pro to a usable form um, we have it you know if we have it go to the preview button here then we can go ahead and just send this out to um, anybody that we wanted to go out to